the Aircraft Performance Company. Creativity and expertise to help improving the way current and future aircraft will impact our environment. Various analyses and development methods are used in the preliminary and final design of aircraft and the components. One of them is the experimental testing of relevant configurations and flight conditions in the wind tunnel. These experimental tests allow to make fundamental statements about the effects of the selected configurations. In the case of our wingtip technology, flow visualizations of the flow phenomena of the outer wing section were carried out. In this context, the pressure distribution was measured. The visual impression of the flow phenomena in connection with quantitative measurements of the pressure distributions on the outer wing enable the engineers to evaluate and substantiate the quality of the design. This step is an essential part in the preparation for the actual flight tests. Winglets are a truly great invention, as they increase the effective aspect ratio of a wing without adding greatly to the structural stress, and hence the weight of its structure. As such winglets are key to achieve a fuel burn reduction with most wing designs, APC's three-finger wingtip configuration further enhances the efficiency of this proven technology. Experimental studies for APC's three-finger winglet solution were conducted in the subsonic wind tunnel at the Institute of Aerospace and Aeronautics of the Erbeter Aachen University in Germany. The university operates an open return wind tunnel type with an open test section, which facilitates access for a variety of visualization techniques and quick modifications. The tunnel generates airflow up to 70 m per second wind speed inside the test section and can be infinitely adjusted. A turbulence of less than 0.06% allows for very accurate testing. Different visualization techniques are available to understand fluid phenomena and interaction with an aircraft more precisely. As technology improves, these methods will become faster, more readily available and more dependable. Visualization is only a small part of the wind tunnel data gathering process, but it is an important component of any aircraft design. Smoke injection is a classical visualization technique. It involves sending a stream of smoke down the wind tunnel, allowing researchers to see how airflow interacts with the model in real time. This method can be used with any type of model and in almost any type of wind tunnel. The smoke visualization requires the smoke generator to form a vaporized column of smoke that flows over the model's surface. Photos are taken and videos recorded to capture the surface flow patterns during and after the experiments. This is a standard process to analyze and validate numerical calculations. In our project, Five angles of attack were tested to represent key configurations in flight. Minitufts flow visualization is one of the oldest but still most valid visualization technique used in flight testing and wind tunnel experiments. Tufts are small length strings that are attached to the surface of the model by using some adhesive such as glue or tape. The material for our experiments is a cotton sewing thread. As the wind flow over the model, the tufts follow the direction of the wind flow. The advantages of this technique are easy that it is to install and provides a view of the flow pattern over a large area. In this project, the tufts were placed at defined quadwise positions of the trailing edge, as well as on the three-finger winglet, visualizing the flow of the air and the vortices generated. The measurements carried out 
have ensured a sophisticated understanding of the physical flow phenomena around the wingtip of the aircraft configuration being examined. Comparative visualization and the measurement of the pressure distribution, both on the wingtip and on the outer wing, enable to validate an increase in performance of the wing design with our optimized wingtip in comparison to the reference configuration.